was good. You know, we're going to kick off today with the uh, Jacobs and Luis Arias uh, prediction and breakdown, which is coming after this. Um, but we're going to talk about some uh, breaking news that came through the, the news wire. Shout out to Boxing Scene. I'll link the article in the description. It's your boy, CJ Goodfellow, back with the Boxing Clinic. And uh, Jason Sosa will make his return after getting washed in like nine rounds and retiring against Vasyl Lomachenko against Yurikis Gamboa. Gamboa is returning to super featherweight. I know his last fight, I'm not sure where it was at. It was in Mexico. I'm not sure where it was at, and he looked terrible. Uh, so he's going back to 130. Unless, I don't know if he fought his last fight at 130, but it was so low-key. But perhaps now he's going to 130. He's taking on Jason Sosa. Um, he beat Uri, he beat or Orle, or Orlando Salido at that weight and a couple other guys. He was dominant at 130 pounds. I think he's past his prime. I think he's 35 years old. Um, and, um, you know, I don't know, man. You know, I think it's a little bit too late for him to return to this weight. I remember the other guy, I think he beat him down pretty bad. Um, he had two. Oh, yeah, I can't remember the guy who beat him down bad. After Crawford, then he, then he, then we was like, it's over with for him. He got stopped, I believe, by a nobody. And then, you know, it is what it is. Jason Sosa, you know, he had, he, he arrived with a draw versus Nicholas Walters. Well, I thought Nicholas Walters beat him. Not that Javier Fortuna beat Stephen Smith, who challenged uh, for a world title before from the UK. And then he lost to Vasyl Lomachenko. This is a good fight and a good move in the direction for Jason Sosa to get back on top. Um, a good opportunity. This is going to be the uh, open and televised bout for Kovalev versus Shavansky, um November 25th, I believe that is, on HBO. So, um, this is a good fight, man. You know, the HBO is, you know, you know, Showtime been dominating boxing. And I still got them ahead when it comes to boxing. But uh, HBO is coming back with some straight bangers, man. And uh, I don't know what that Dimitri, uh, uh, Dimitri, Dimitri Bivol fight and Trent Brodenhurst fight was. That was a step back for the network. But um, obviously, they got Danny Jacobs fighting this weekend. We, we can't wait to see that versus Luis Arias. And prediction videos, I think it's pretty good. It came out pretty well. I'm proud of that 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 work I did. A lot of people um, might agree, might not agree, but I like this fight right here. I like Jason Sosa. You know, he didn't. You know, he got he is, he's a solid fighter, and uh, I would probably lean him being Gamboa, but Gamboa going back to 135, 130 at a hundred and uh, I mean at 35 years old. I don't know, man. I don't know what he got left in the tank. Uh, he's a talented fighter, but we know with him and guys like him and Roy who rely on the athletic ability and not technique. When athletic ability drop off, you know, it, it, they're not the same fighter anymore. You know, we all know that they're not the same fighter anymore, man. So, you know, it's too late for him to get technique. You know, it's just going to have to be him, you know, praying that 130 is, is better than 135, which most people thought 135, he was a fish out of out of, uh, out of of water. And um, I truly believe that, you know, 130, you know, he might be a little faster, a little quicker, a little stronger, more powerful. But how comfortable can he make the weight? And Jason Sosa is going to test him because Jason Sosa is a solid fighter. Um, you know, I just wish Gamboa was still in his heyday and we could see him fight Lomachenko. That would have been a good fight. Or Mikey Garcia. But we know what the verdict will be in those two fights right now. Him at 35. Um, and they say he's so... Gamboa so... He's not disciplined. They say he is so not disciplined in the gym. He likes to beat to his own drum. He don't like to listen to nobody. Um, and we've seen plenty of fighters like that before, man. And, uh, that's, that's, that can be his kryptonite, man. You know, if you ain't going to take advice right now, when you in a, a place of adversity and your career is in turmoil, then, um, you know, when, when are you going to take some advice? You dig? So, um, uh, Sosa got a prime opportunity to get back on top to, to capture a world title. Um, and we're going to see, man, if he can capitalize on, it. I believe I slightly, fa well, I largely favor him, but Gamboa coming back in one thirty is sort of a wild card. But, um, you know, Sosa from Camden, New Jersey, he on the East Coast fighting in the theater room in the Master Square Garden, open and televised bout for HBO. You know, he's going to come ready, man. I don't think he took a major punishment for, versus Lomachenko where he can't come back and still be a, a good fighter once again. So we'll see what's going on. Let me know what you guys think.